Hold My Drink with Charlene and Ellie, a Go Loud original podcast, proudly supported by Pennies. Get this season's must-haves in a store near you. I, I've been doing this since I'm a child because I got shit on my birds six times. If I stop ever feeling grateful, this will all stop. Yeah. So true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you always have to remember to always be mm-hmm. grateful and yeah. for where you are. And of course. The whole idea of manifestation is very overwhelming, would you say? Like, there's a lot to it. Yeah. So like something small, like th- thinking you're lucky, if that's how you start, then that's... Yeah, just perfect. tell yourself you're lucky to wake up, you're lucky to, to be in a warm yeah. house and yeah. all that. Welcome to All My Drink with Charlene and Ellie. Today's episode is kindly sponsored by Primark or Pennies, the ultimate high street destination that's everything you need this January to make it your year your way. Primark or Pennies is the ultimate high street store that we all know and love. As we all feel the post-Christmas pinch, Pennies helps as many people as possible to afford small joys in their day-to-day lives. Let's embrace the everyday, but also remember to treat yourselves. We are big fans in the Hold My Drink podcast of treating ourselves. Mm-hmm. So don't remember to... Don't remember? Don't remember. <laughs> don't forget. Don't forget to treat yourselves to those standout trend pieces that make us look great and also feel amazing. You're actually wearing a full... I am decked out One of the gym gear get Yep, one yeah. of the gym gear sets. I did a trip to Penny's last week. So did I. Picked up as much of them as I could and I loved them all. I actually got two pairs of them leggings. Did you? Yeah. The flares. I got the flares. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get the black ones? I got the black, yeah, but I got two of the purple. Did you? Yeah. I loved them. I also had on... Um, these like workout leggings that had this invisible thick band to like oh. suck in your stomach. I got them in brown and black. They're invisible? Yeah, the band is like, it's so hard to explain, but I put them on and I was like, oh my God. Oh, it was see them. 10 out of 10. I need to attend again. I'll send you a picture of them. Whether it's stylish savings, a new double snuddy, new gym gear or some new beauty bits you're looking for, they've literally got it all. You can pop into a store near you now or log on to www.primark.com forward slash IE to check out all their pieces. So on this week's episode, we talked all about lucky girl syndrome, um, about how to practice make, yeah. lucky girl syndrome. Yeah, be a lucky girl. Is it BS? Yeah, or is it pure and utter luck? Yeah, we talked about any uh, organising a room. Mm-hmm. So I feel like we talked about lots of at the start as well. Yeah, we how sadly bad my our father. Yeah, <laughs> how bad my brother is at saying prayers. Our seeks and salts oh, dilemmas, yes. obviously as well. Talked about a girl that was her boyfriend for 10 years, but she's thinking about an ex fling. Um, someone who met a boy in college and he's just not what he said Mm-mm. he was going to be like. He was only in for sex. And then a situation ship that they don't know what they are seven months in. Yeah, do you ask? Do you not? And then we obviously do want to wait till I tell you our silver skip and our German word of the week as well. So we hope you enjoy. Love you. Love you. Hi birds. Birds and blokes, hello. No, everyone's bird. Oh, everyone is yeah, bird. Even the blokes. Even the blokes are birds. Mm-hmm. Or the something fella. Have we said before that some men do listen to this we have, haven't we? Yeah. So we, some, we meet some on a night, night out sometimes. Yeah. Mm. I think we have a lot of secret men listeners. I met a telly actually after we will intro the podcast. I'll tell you about a swindler that I met oh. at Christmas. Yeah. Who was swindling me and does pretended to listen to the podcast. Oh, we pretend. Mm, listen, right, so. Well, first of all, this podcast is like a group chat between your best friends. The girls watching on a night out where you spill all the gossip on relationship dilemmas and life. If you're a return listener, welcome back. And if you're new, then welcome. Hello. How My Drink is out every Wednesday. We also have bonus episodes every Monday. You can listen to us more if you are not sick of us by now. Mm-hmm. And we answer some more of your dilemmas. But yeah, so I was out. <clears throat> where was I? I was out for a Christmas night out somewhere. And someone was like, I love the podcast, right? And then I fell no, it was a girl. Okay. So she brought over the fella friend and she was like, we both love the podcast. But like, I just was like, mm, skeptical. Yeah. Do you know when you can just tell someone's taking a piss? But I, I was obviously really nice and like wouldn't, wasn't saying that. And I was like, oh, thanks so much. Y'all. And they kept saying, we, but we love the podcast. They're overdoing it. And I was like, oh, mm. thank you. Like just being polite, whatever. And then I was like, oh, what's your favorite episode? And I kind of thought that they were letting on. And she was like, <laughs> the last one. <laughs> and I was like... I was, like, know what I was like, I was like, oh, what one is that again? She's like, can't remember. Oh. Like, did not listen to a words podcast. No. But like, I don't know why. But then why would they say? I think they just wanted to be like, the way I think it, people want to have said they took the piss out of you. Being like, oh, we seen Charlene went up to her and we're like, 
said we don't like the podcast. Like that's some people's. Well, if you did do that, that's, that's the most unfunny. Oh, that's joke. Very, that's some people's humor. Who would find that amusing? Yeah. I pretended to listen to the podcast when I didn't. Yeah, well, Good some, one. some people like they think that's funny, like. But like no. definitely, unless they were really drunk and just couldn't remember. But just couldn't the way they were not, I just no, no, no. swindled, swindled, swindled. I think we definitely do have a, a lot of boy listeners. Yeah, that we don't know about. Yeah, defo. But this man didn't. I don't think he had a clue who it was. Do you reckon people hate <laughs> listen to us as well? Um, oh, I definitely know some people hate listen. Oh, do you think? Hey, <laughs> hi for listening. <laughs> I know you're listening. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Do you think? Definitely. That's a long time to take out your day to hate someone and listen to them. Do you know them. what I mean? So thanks for the listen. You You're need putting to us give, up in the ranks. If you, like, it's actually really sad though. Like, we have like an hour long podcast. If you put that hour into doing something like <laughs> positive instead of angrily sitting there and like, la- like waiting to see. Waiting to yeah. just pr- like but ridicule why bother? Someone. Like, just, just leave it separate. Do you know what I mean? It's weird. Move on. Weird. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> How was your week? Great. Good, yeah. Mm. Still off the drink. Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. We're doing really, really well. Oh, sorry. No, I had one glass of wine. That's in yeah. London. Shh, the reason why did I have it? Oh your yeah, dinner. yeah. I had it with my dinner. Me and uh, I was over with my friend Jasmine. We had a mare trying to get a picture. We couldn't get one for ages. The two of us, and we were so Listen, stressed. Listen, that's life of, the, of an influence. No, it sounds very it sounds, stressful. It sounds so ridiculous. <laughs> and then we went to go pasta, and I was like, oh, "Wait, this I need a wine, yeah. a pasta." You can. I'm not a pasta board at all. <sighs> I. I think I can hands down say I hate pasta. What? Yeah. You like spaghetti though. I like spaghetti bolognese. Yep, the long one. Oh, I only, love only pasta. I'll only eat it if it's long pasta. And I think I've, I think I've been like that for years, even growing up. And my mum's always been like, Ellen, it is the same fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, Helen, it's very fucking different. <laughs> they taste different. No. Like, like penne pasta takes, tastes so different to spaghetti. No. It does. It does. It's the same taste, just no. different texture and shape and size. No, I hate pasta. Oh, same texture, actually. Wouldn't cook it. Wouldn't order it anywhere. Would you not? No. No. I like a lasagna, that, but they're pasta sheets. I love pasta. I hate pasta. And my brother, Jack, lo- loves <laughs> pasta. I love He's always bleeding <laughs> cooking it. Oh, it's, so, it's one of the things that's so easy to make. And whenever he's cooking, I always try and... He's a great cook. Mm. And I always try and scab, like... Whenever I hear that he's downstairs cooking, I'm like, ooh, what can What's I stab off now? Yeah. Yeah. So every time I go down, I'm like, what are you making? He's like, just pass. I'm like, there you go. Oh, I'd eat it like, I had it twice in a day, the other day. Pasta with chewing on it. I can't remember the last time I had it. Unreal. And I wish I liked it because like that, it's so easy. So to handy and it's healthy. Is it? Well, yeah, like. It's not awful. No, it's like having chicken and rice, chicken and pasta. Like, yeah. Obviously not a big, huge mountain full of it, but <laughs> it's good. Like carbs are good for you. I'm just Don't be afraid of carbs, girls. No, course. not not a password. Oh, I love it so much. Makes me so happy. I feel like it just doesn't make me feel sick. Oh, don't actually carbon. I was going to say. Sick. Oh yeah. Yeah. Did I ever tell about the carbon hour story on the bus? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my god. Well, I have terrible stomach issues. They've actually it's actually been quite good recently. But I went to a pasta place and it was lovely, like really really nice in town. And I was quite young. I hadn't. I didn't drive yet so I was getting the bus home and I was on the bus and I had had carbonara and I was sitting there I was like oh my god I'm gonna shit myself <laughs> I was just oh bubbling. my god no like do you know when you get that cramp like a poo cramp only girl girlies with stomach problems will understand <laughs> I was like oh my god and I was like sweating I was like I'm literally I was up around the bus I was like He's Where gonna ship. He's gonna see a ship myself. She's gonna see a ship myself. He's gonna see. I was like, I was just accepting the fate that I was gonna just shit on myself. Like, the so disgusting. Would you just sit there if you had to shit? What would I do? Like, <laughs> and I was running around. I was like, can you collect me off the bus? But it would. It worked out. It was like the same time as if I got collected from the bus stop. So I made it home in the end. So you didn't shit yourself. No. Okay. Very nearly. Well, so carbonara is scary to have for me. Have you eaten it since? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just that one, though. I don't get as bad of a reaction now. Thank God I'm not looking for a boyfriend because I wouldn't be able to find one. And it's fucked Jesus up. Christ. Anyway, uh, what were we saying? Oh, yeah, off the drink. Off the drink. <clears throat> one glass of wine. That was lovely. I don't really like wine with other stuff other than like pasta and stuff. I don't By myself, like, I would. But I not. don't think I've ever had a drink like with my dinner to enjoy it. Isn't that kind of sad when you think of it like that? A glass of wine is nice, though. Like, I you drink... like wine? No. No, no I'm more of a Prosecco girl. 
I love a glass of rosé. But Prosecco does taste, like, taste nice. Kind yeah, of. but the bubbles go straight to you. It was real refreshing as well. I wouldn't just drink it though for the Would sake. No, I'm I'm really weird like that. I, I don't know. often, but if I was like, oh, I'd love a little glass, glass of Prosecco. Like, would you have a drink on your own at home? Like, no. No, no. But that day I needed a glass of wine. No, I'd, I don't think I'd ever order like a drink at my dinner, even if I was out like. I wouldn't use it. It was just that I was very stressed. I was like, can't take the edge off. Oh, I couldn't get a picture. <laughs> Hard life. Um, <laughs> fucking life. But then, well, oh yeah, the men in the restaurant were so weird. They were like, um, do you have a boyfriend? And we were like, yeah, the photo was too. And he was like, where are they from? And I was like, oh, mine's Irish. And she was like, mine's English. And uh, he was like, you need Italian to cook and love. I was like, oh my a God. A like, they, kept, they kept singing around us like, marry me and all like, and then he was like, oh, um, when when's the wedding? Like, all, all the waiters. It wasn't just one. So, and at the end, I was like, is that spill for free? Like, after <laughs> harassing us? He was like, next time. I was like, okay. <laughs> Jesus It was Christ. very extreme. Like, and then it? put the la- napkin on my lap and was like, here you go, baby. <gasps> that was like in Ibiza, though. I remember we were settling the bill once before on STK, I think. But I was saying baby. Yeah. Yeah, but that was... Baby, baby. Yeah, he was nice. This that was nice, was though. Strange. Was it? Yeah. Oh, no. But girls have to deal with that kind of shit. All I know. Time. Do you know what? I actually got a message on Instagram um, mm. of someone... I can't remember was it on the Home I Drink page or yeah. my one. Um, about catcalling. Someone wanted us to talk about catcalling. Oh. And like how... I, now, I'm just... This is just my opinion of it. Of like how nearly used to it you just have to kind of be. Like even from a really, yeah. really young age and like... You just, yeah. it's, you get numb to it. Yeah. But I've noticed, I don't get it anymore. Like, I, well, Am as I much. Ugly? <laughs> as much, no, but you get it more when you're younger, which is yeah, kind of which sick. Which is sick. When you're in your school uniform. Mm. Like, ew. Like, or if I ever got beeped at by like a car full of fellas or whatever, I yeah. absolutely fucking shit myself. Yeah, I, I know. Jump on my skin know. and you're on your own and all. It's you're horrible. Own. Like, or do you ever get a man and he's by himself? It's even worse. Yeah, I know. Like, that's pretending someone's father no. beeping at me. And, like, when they're with their mates, like, not, it's obviously not any better, but, like, they probably egg each other on. But when it's someone by himself, I'm like, that's even weirder, yeah, in no. a way. No, but I definitely think, and if you're listening out there and want to let us know, um, we should maybe do, like, an episode, an episode or, on that. Yeah. On that. Yeah. Because there's definitely a few things that have happened in my life when I was younger. And if we do have a lot, uh, like a lot of younger listeners, not mm-hmm. even younger, any women Anyone, at this stage, yeah. but there's stuff that's happened to me in my life that I've never, ever spoken about on anything. I've mm-hmm. told you. Yeah. Um, But that I've never spoken about anything but like to raise awareness. And, not awareness. But like, No, it is. You know though, what I mean? It is. But especially with the dark nights and stuff. And, yeah. 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 But to talk about stuff I'd like that. I'd even be afraid. I'm after ordering a treadmill at home to do my steps on because I don't like walking by myself. Yeah, no, sad? I wouldn't go on a walk on my own. Isn't that sad? Yeah. That a man can go out and not have to worry about. Mm. I have to order a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> a pink one. Did is you see pink? it in my forehead? Yeah. <laughs> like, is it pink? Yeah, it's pink. Yeah, yeah. But you watch a movie. Come here. If you can get your steps done with a movie in front of you, I'd rather that no, than yeah. out, being out in the car. Or even doing, like, because I'm always in the morning, I'm lying in bed on my phone, just like doing e- like email or like checking do through stuff. Do I get my steps yeah. in? See? What's it called? Um, work, ha- work smarter, not harder. Yeah. yeah. I saw a woman doing it. Uh, she works from home. And she has one of those desks, you know, the ones that like go higher. Oh, the standing desk. Yeah, standing yeah. desk. She has, I think uh, my brother has one of them at home, but he, or she had one of them and she was like, I'm going to walk a marathon at home. And she like showed, it was on TikTok, she showed her Apple Watch, like what time she started. Well, I think she's like 40,000 steps or something. Jesus. Something mega. I'm going to be see through by the time I get to summer. <laughs> Charlene is going to be invisible, turn sideways and you can't see her. Jesus <laughs> Where's she gone? Where's she gone? Just the boobs, sorry. I can't see her. <laughs> Just implants. That's it. <laughs> That's all. Good lord. I wonder if I lost if we lost loads of weight. Like, would you just see the implant? Because obviously your boob was fat. Like, mm. would it just be two balls on your chest? I don't know. I'd like mine higher. Would you? Yeah. No. Because I think I already had a. I well, I I know I already had a boob before my implant. Boob, yeah. But I obviously didn't take in so much consideration that the implant is going to weigh them down. It's not going to keep them higher. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You need a lift to go higher. Yeah. And I wasn't Fucked willing to get that from the no. start. But then I was like, I can make them look higher. It's just when I've no clothes on. Yeah. But you but could there's do, only me and one other you, person who'll see me like that. When you have kids, you could then get a lift. Yeah. Because they go even lower when you have kids. Like, they wouldn't they? Down to my knees. They'd go like here. Do they? Or is that only if you breastfeed? 
Because people always seem to get stuff after. I don't know. I've never asked anyone. A mommy makeover? Yeah. I'm trying to think of anyone. I'm going to ask someone. I don't know. Yeah. It must be breastfeeding because how else would they just drop? You lose loads away from breastfeeding. Does your room just sit on the bump when you have a bump? Yeah, what do I? I? Just I'd like, be balancing things on it now. Yeah, I had a dream the other night. I was telling Charlene, I oh, had a yeah. dream the other night. Well, it wasn't a good night. I woke. I woke it was Saturday morning, I think, and my alarm went off at quarter past seven because I changed my. Do you, know, do you know my daily alarm that goes off that normally goes off quarter past eight? Yeah, I've made it quarter past seven now. Very good. I know, proud of me. Um, but went off at quarter past seven on a Saturday, and I was like, "Fuck off!" Turned it off till. Half nine, I think it was, but within those two hours, I fell asleep. But that's when I always oh, feel like you have the yeah. maddest dreams. Like yeah. when I am telling you, I know what it feels like to be pregnant. I know what it feels like to push a, ba- a baby out of my vagina. I, kn- I know. I think I had a poo <laughs> while I was pushing the baby too. Yeah, you too. Yeah, but in my dream, I did. Imagine I shit oh, myself okay. in the bed. <laughs> Thinking a of little loss. But I gave birth like this. I think you can do that. I was sideways. I think that you can do... But you think you have to open your legs and I can cl- leave them closed. No, my legs were like this and the oh, baby no. came out that were way. Were you lying sideways in the bed? I must have been, actually, yeah. <laughs> I, I woke up and I texted a girl straight away and I was like, girls, tell you, I know what it feels like to be pregnant. And one of our friends, Hannah, has had a child. Yeah. And you typed in the chat, you were like... It wasn't sore. I, fe- I go, so oh, it wasn't sore. And you were like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> she was like, are you for real? <laughs> Wait, yeah. Me asking is if you've actually gone through it. I actually... But I swear to God, I felt... I, and I, I woke up and I was like, that Mad, but like when I had I a willy, in my, I had a willy in my dream, and I still yeah. know what it feels like to have a willy. I googled it, and apparently it means if you have dreams about either giving birth or being pregnant, it's like that new things are coming to you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, because there's all meanings for dreams. Well, I don't want it to be a baby, but ah. someone else's baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. No thanks. Not yet. No. 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 Your way to tell you though for today is kind of to do with your weekend, doesn't it? What did I say I'd tell you about? Your little clean up thing. Oh yes, yes, yes. So for way to tell you, basically if you want to know what way to tell you is, it's a random stupid story. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's informative, sometimes, uh, sometimes it's absolutely bollocks that you put into the group chat. Yeah. Oh my stomach is rumbling. Um, but yeah, for way to tell you, since I'm off the drink and I'm doing dry January and I'm... Just trying to be an overall better person. Mm-hmm. Um, I decided to reorganize and decorate, not decorate, reorganize my makeup room. So my oh, makeup room at home is ba- is my old bedroom. So it's the box room of the house. Um, I used to makeovers in there actually, and I used oh. to have the bed in there. But I got rid of obviously. I just had the mattress, and I covered the mattress with like loads of blankets and pillows and stuff. And people used to sit on it and wait to wait. Oh, yeah. and I'm like wait, just, just on chilling ground? on my bed. What? How high was the mattress? No, no, no. The bed, the frame was oh. there as well. <laughs> I you had to not, it looked like I'm bringing them in to fucking murder them or something. <laughs> to keep them hostage. But um, yeah, so it, it's been like the makeup room we call it at home for years. But like my brother and sister can't wait for me to leave the house because of just the amount of overall shite I own. I know. Jack Kelly wants to kill me. Really? He's like, how? And my mom did a big clean up last week of the land and... And like, it's, I don't know if every, anybody else's house is like this. The landing just gets dumped with shite. Yeah, mine. Shite you don't like, want in your only, room. Only my shite. Yeah, that's <laughs> no in my else. house. Yeah. The shite you don't want in your room when you're cleaning your room. Fuck it out onto the landing and then your room looks spectacular. Yeah. But Jack's only given out to me last week being like, you need to leave. We can't I don't keep think, down this. So, I think even if this like influence and wasn't my job I'd I'd still, oh, yeah, yeah. it's oh, nothing to do with that no it's nothing to do with so the, I, with but I job. always hate complaining about my room being messy on Instagram because I never want people to think uh, it, she's just complaining about getting free stuff because it's not it's still I, I buy yeah. I buy way more than yeah, I get yeah. sent than you ever. get sent yeah. yeah so it's not it's not necessarily like yeah oh my it's god it's just I'm a messy bitch yeah poor me with all this makeup no it's, it's not like me that buying it yeah exactly my, do you know mine is like mostly clothes I, I have suppose, a really yeah. bad habit of you know the saying out of sight out of mind yeah same so if I if there's clutter somewhere my thing is put it in a black bag like, instead of putting it away in the drawers where it should be, my thing is put it okay. in the black bag and hide it in the black bag so I can't see it. Okay. And it I do that with everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, If I have makeup products, I'm like, I'll put them in a bag so yeah. I can't see them all. Yeah. And then, but then you're really better off giving that away because if you don't even know what's in it, you're not missing it. No, this is like makeup Which that you use or yeah. clothes oh, that you use. Like, oh, yeah. Shit. I'm like, can't be arsed putting them away right now. Hide them in a black bag. Very bad. So, anyway, I 
did a big clear out last week. My mom did a big clear out of the land, and I, I, it felt like Christmas, you know, when your mom does that Christmas yeah, clean. Yeah, yeah. The landing was spotless. And then I think it was a day later, was it? I had the landing absolutely destroyed again with black bags full of clothes that I need to wash, sent, that I need to send down to the laundry, cardboard boxes. Shite that I didn't want in my room. Yeah. That I'm like, somebody else can deal with it. Do you know what's floating around my house and we have no idea where it's, where it's from? And it's bouncing from room to room because we all just keep giving it to each other, being like, I don't own this. A white hotel dressing gown. And none of us have any... Did you come to my house in a white dressing gown by any chance? Did you not get one from... Remember we went to... I've never seen... it. No, there's makeup on it and all. I've never, ever seen this dressing gown in my life. I was trying trying to think, did someone come over over the Christmas with on? It wasn't me. I, ha- I have <laughs> never seen this. What? And I keep throwing it on my mum's bed. And then she'll throw, throw it on the banisters of the landing. And then somebody can't stand looking at it. And then it ends up in my room. I'm fucking... You need to just give it away. I, we have no idea where this is from. It's a hotel dressing. I don't even if know. If someone left it in yours, they'd already want it back. Like they'd say, they'd have texted you already. Did Quiva come over maybe with a dressing gown on? Or? Do you she has a white dressing gown? It's definitely not yours. Do, oh, n- have a hotel on it? Uh, no, but you can tell it's a hotel dressing gown. It's like a white towel one, like, what? you know, one that you would yeah, buy yeah. in pennies or yeah. something like. No, weird Weirds. thing ever. But anyway, sorry, I'm going way off the point here. Did a big makeup room reorganisation. Mm-hmm. So I flipped everything around. I got rid of stuff. Because I used to hate going into it when there was no... I used to just hate being in it. Yeah. When there's so much to you can't actually think straight. No, and I used to hate the setup of it. And even like sitting... like, And this is going to sound like we've been saying, poor me, influencer me. No. But see that whole arc of just, oh, you just sit down and you record. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like it's the setup of everything. It's making sure the lighting is right. It's putting everything where it's supposed to be, make sure mm-hmm. there's nothing in the background, reorganizing things. Like it's not a case of if I had that lovely setup you could just sit into. I'd yeah. be whacking out with the content. Yeah. Well, and it's like when you see a reel, like say if someone has a minute reel, like that there's so hours behind that. Oh, come here. And editing something can take up to two hours. I need time. to start learning if I'm just gonna record something, I need to record one second of it. Because I keep recording like so I've learned that a little bit more. Have now. you? Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. I think it was the reel that I did for maybe Pennies last yeah. week. I think that was like eleven minutes long. And yeah. I had to get it down to a minute. Yeah. I'm like why do I record eleven minutes? So much. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, yeah. I'm like, oh it must just be like And then you end up taking more time to edit if yeah. you're taking it all out, I know. But um have a new setup now and one that I can sit into, ordered new lights off Amazon, got rid of loads of shite and it's actually making me mo- motivated to want to sit down and record. Yeah. So over the weekend, like I recorded my hair because I can just sit into it and just yeah. get out of it and it's just so much easier yeah. to get in and out and yeah. it's a bit messy now but I'll, I'll deal with that. Yeah. Um, bought new shoe racks for my room. Oh yeah, you We're built- getting places. You didn't take that long to build it. Oh, Jack did half it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, how long is this going to take me? And then I was on, like, was on the phone, and I was under pressure because I was on the phone. I was like, oh, I need to go. I need to build this because I put a timer on. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. So I need to say that I did it. But Jack did half it. He's at home actually building my other one now. Ah, I know. God love him. So got rid of like, n- I'm gonna say I got rid of seventy percent of my clothes over the last like three, did, two or yeah. three weeks. Yeah. Charlene was telling me earlier on she has like twenty pairs of jeans. I was like, I think I have three. Yeah. I need to do. I'm gonna do like Instagram or TikTok videos of like trying them all on. Yeah. Because you ever look at something and you pick it out and you're like, oh, I still like that, but like you haven't. Even, they probably don't fit you anymore. <coughs> or like, oh, excuse me. You probably have ten of the same pairs. I'm gonna yeah. do that and get you to help me. Yeah. Choose. Do it. I need someone else to tell me things. Like, you need to be brutal. Yeah. You're really not. I need like, I need people to comment to me like Charlene, those are god awful. I okay. caught her on live when I she was live on TikTok <laughs> the other night, and I was watching it. I was going through a miscellaneous bag of stuff that I found. A bag of stuff, and everything she pulled out was brand new that she bought. She was like, "Oh, I bought this tracksuit. It's lovely, isn't it? I'm just going to keep this." I was like, "Charlene, you're in the middle of doing a clear out, and you're I was buying like, Is stuff." Ellie's watching. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, "Is Ellie still here? Afraid to try on the tracksuit in case I'm still watching." I was like, "Bird, get rid of something." So you feel much more motivated now I feel lighter in my life yeah is that a good word to you yeah it's just not but we're never we have to realise we're never going to be minimalist birds I told Charlene I wanted a house like Kim Kardashian we're one day never she was like be ah! <laughs> unless you just get a word I'm going to stuff all the stuff behind yeah. no we're never going to be but I but knowing what I have I remember when Dano came over to my house the first time uh, I literally my room was obviously a mess and I was he wasn't planning on coming over and he was it was the first time so I 
opened my wardrobe, flung <laughs> everything in. And then when I, when he left and I opened them, it's all just like spilled oh, out on top oh. of me. Through everything, stuffed under the bed, like everything was just everywhere. I'd like one but of those beds fine. that you have actually. Oh yeah. An ottoman, isn't that what I it's I don't called? think I had that at the time. But I had like space then above my, under my bed. Oh, did you? That you lifted up? My bed yeah. is to the bottom of the floor. So yeah, I can't no. Put under. You need to utilise every screed of space. Every yeah. nook and every, cranny yeah. in the room. Yeah, because then you can look like you're minimalist, but you're not. You just hide off. It's all fucking smoke and mirrors, honestly. Yeah. God, sorry about our lives. <laughs> but that was the way to tell you anyway. I have a new room and new... Newfound motivation. Yeah, hopefully. We're going on to German Word of the Week, which is where I teach you the words in German. Um, we actually were, though, thinking of doing a new segment. Yeah. So if you have any idea, if you're like listening to the podcast and you're like, God, this would be good in that, or like, this would be a good idea for a segment, please let us know because we'd love to hear it. I feel like we've been going like a year now. It'd be nice to get something new and fresh, maybe. Mm. So let us know what you think, if you have any ideas. But today's German word is Strumpfhosen. <laughs> like, go Strumpfhosen Strumpfhosen Yeah I'm very bad I can't get the Strumpfhosen Let me just make sure It is the right word But I just want to check The meaning of the first part Strumpfhosen Wardrobe No Do you know what a hose is? It's an item of clothing Jacket No A hose is a t-shirt Or something is it? Mm. Trousers? Yeah. Strumpf hose. Jeans? No. Doesn't I've looked at the fr- the start of the translation, but it doesn't really make sense. I suppose kind of does. Why what does it say? So strumpf is stocking. And stocking then, trousers. Tights. Yeah. Isn't yeah, it yeah, tights? yeah. 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 Woo! Stocking trousers. Does that make sense? Yeah. Are, oh yeah, because stockings are like the stockings, yeah. The yeah, the nice and trousers. Yeah. So they're long stockings, basically, like. Yeah. Yeah. Because stockings Stock- only go to there, don't they? they? Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Strumpfhose. There you go. Don't know how we thought of them today. Forever in the mood for a pair of stockings or a pair of tights. Yeah. In a German country. Tights, do you remember wearing tights in school and your bum be reefing it? I used to wear tights. I wore tights, I think, for the last, like, three years a second just go. Did you? Yeah. Cause Why? I, for the warmth? Yeah. I used to wear leggings, roll them up, and then no, see, cut off the circulation, yeah, and then wear... wear uh, that's so- what I was going to do. I did go yeah. through a phase of the pyjamas with the socks until, oh God, a te- yeah. Yeah, until a teacher called me out on it and she was like, you're disgusting. Like, that's vile. Did she say that? Did she say that? Yeah. And I was like, uh, they're actually new pyjamas. I didn't wear these in bed last night. She was like, that's so unhygienic. Like, uh, she, And she literally... That's was, not unhygienic though if, if they're new. like. But she was literally like just face... And to this day, I'm kind of, I look at it and I'm like, she was just being kind of honest with me. She was, she was like, do you think that looks nice? Like, she's like that looks Oh, could horrible. you see it? Yeah, my skirt was wide open. Like, Oh, was it, oh my skirt didn't open up. Oh, did you, oh no, we had a kilt. And oh. we used to have to wear pins, but I think I lost the pin at the so first year. You could year. see the pajamas. And, oh, the pajamas be flying everywhere. And she was like, do you think that's nice? Like, that's horrible. And I was like, and then I, I don't think I wore it again and just always wore tights. Oh my God. Yeah, I used to wear tights. Tights it and used to be freezing though. I used to hate oh, uh, going out to the yard. No. My school jacket was the love of my life. Oh, I used to have that thing on. I didn't on. have a school jacket. Did you not? No. <gasps> I loved my You have to wear jacket. your school jacket. You weren't allowed to wear like your own. Oh, what? To school. We were allowed to wear our own. In secondary school? Yeah. What? Yeah. However jacket you wanted. What like. did we do with our jackets in school? Yeah, actually, yeah, I think of that. Did you just carry it around with you all day? I think you did. There was coat hooks in the rooms, I think. Or was there? No, there wasn't. We had lockers. Did you have a locker? Yeah, it was fucking tiny. Up. Yeah, a little square. <laughs> tiny. Did it's we just put them on the back of our seat? Yeah, maybe. But I also feel like the seats weren't covered with jackets when I look back at a classroom now. No, we had school, like a navy school jacket. We weren't allowed to wear your own. Wow. Mm. I suppose it kind of looks nice if everyone's the same. We were a Christian convent school. Chris, come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Christian boy. <laughs> <laughs> a few episodes back, Ellie played her <gasps> her voice message to her friend after her, friend, <laughs> her friend's that baby's christening. Christening. <laughs> like, He's a Christian boy. I think he's a holy Christian boy now today. After his Christian <laughs> Christian day. What the fuck is wrong with me? I hope he had the best day ever. Oh yeah, I hope he had the best christening ever. Child the has every Saturday. I'll never party. remember that. The fuck? <laughs> no. That was a chaotic night. Oh. That was the night that I booked flights actually over to the the first date. What? The, what? Uh, well, what are you going to call your 
fella. <laughs> need a code name for him. Mystery man. MM. Big sexy monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Big sexy gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. No. Let's mystery man. Yeah, mystery man. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep it at that. Yeah. Or London man. Or love of my life. <laughs> London boy. <laughs> Lovely man. <laughs> Lovely boy. This week's episode, we want to talk about a TikTok trend. If you're not on TikTok. What are you doing? What, the fuck? Life? what? How my much sister, spare time do you have? My sister Quiva still doesn't have TikTok. Oh no! She I won't people... get it because I'll be on it for hours. But then she'll sit on reels on Instagram. That's for my hours. sister. Don't she delete a TikTok <laughs> and just sits on reels? And she sends me reels. I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah. like that. That's old. Yeah. I've seen that. Already. <laughs> You're only seeing this now. Yeah, they are the same people. Um, but lucky girl syndrome mm-hmm. we've seen everywhere, and I think it's great. Yeah, the definition of it is lucky girl syndrome is a form of manifestation or thinking your dreams into reality. It involves people reciting daily affirmations in the belief that they will bring good fortune into your life. Or the belief is that you can attract good things into your life by certain that you deserve them and that assuming you're lucky will bring you good fortune. When I saw it first, I did think like this is just another another title for manifestation. It's, it's kind of doing the same thing. Yeah, but it's more the law. So law of attraction is manifestation. Right. This is the law of assumption. This is where I'm you're assuming. I'm you're like, be lucky. why wouldn't I deserve that? Obviously, I'm going to like, oh, okay. I deserve good things. Like, True. It's thinking like the best. I think it's more of a realistic approach to manifestation. Because a lot of people are like, okay, I want a million euro. Yeah. Sit there. Whereas this is like, you're projecting that you're good vibes and like everything's go and go for you and then it comes back to you like mm. so you're you're doing law of attraction and law of assumption okay at the same time I uh, I showed this to Charlene actually I'll show you so oh yeah we can start all saying this now I saw this did I say it as a sound did I say I think you I did, did send it yeah okay things are always working out for me no matter how it looks at any point in time Things, things are, are always, always looking, looking out for me, me no, no matter, matter how, how it looks, looks at any, any given point, point in time, time. Things are oh, always I can't learn looking it. out for me no matter how it looks, they just are. They just are. And if you don't know that, you need to know that. Yeah? Yes. So stuff like that. Would you telling yourself that things always work out for you? Yeah, and that you're lucky, like. Yeah. I, I've been doing this since I'm a child because I got shit on my birds six times. Oh. Since I'm a child. And like every time I've been like, oh my God, now I'm going to be really lucky. So I've done it in like ways before it even came about. Oh my God, you started it. But like, I remember I was walking out my back, my front garden. I remember the top I was wearing was a little bit velvet top and I was young like and a bird just shot down my head and neck oh, no. in my hair but instead of being like upset I was like oh my god now I'm going to get really lucky like and then I got kept getting shit on. No way! And stuff kept happening yeah. Like yeah. do you think do you think feeling lucky and grateful are the same thing? Yeah. My mom always always she only said to me yesterday actually in the car where, where were we going? We're on the way home from or Saturday or something on the way home from home store more mm. and I don't know what I was giving out about but she was like do you not realise how lucky you are or how grateful you are for the life that you live? Like, do mm-hmm. you, do you, and I always say to her, of course I do. Like, I, I count my blessings every day. Like, I, kn- I know I'm grateful because I, and I was saying to her, if I stop ever feeling grateful, this will all stop. Yeah. So true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you always have to remember to always be mm-hmm. grateful and yeah. for where you are. And of course. See the way they say when you're younger, like, you can do anything you put your mind to. Yeah. You can yeah, that's true. literally true. People yeah. just kind of drop off. I think, I think everyone can do like whatever they want, but people kind of lose that as they get older and want to be more. What's the word? Like sensible about picking mm. stuff about what they spend their time. Or realistic. On. It's so oh, it's the people yes. who like who stick with it and are like, no, this is realistic. That end up getting there. Yeah. Whereas people who are like, oh, I'm never gonna get that. Don't. Yeah. It's just how it is. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Since it came out, though, I've been practicing it more. Have you? Yeah. I I'm couldn't take like, myself seriously doing. I don't think. What. Like I've seen TikToks of people like looking in the mirror and all like. No, I just think to things. myself like I'm so look. Even when I wake up, I'm always so grateful that I woke up. Do you pray every morning? No. Do you know? We talked about this last week, didn't we? Did we? That you pray when I your pray. nanny when. Well, I goes <laughs> wrong. Yeah, when something goes wrong, I pray to my nanny, and my nanny says, "Um, you're here again, are you?" <laughs> no, but I'd, pr- I'd I'd randomly pray sometimes. Would you? Yeah. Oh, I'll just say, I like, pray lying in bed at night and then I fall asleep and forget to finish the prayer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh, did that not work? No, I, I don't know. My mom prays for us every single night, she says. Aww. Every single night. She, I think it's because, well, Jack doesn't drive actually, I don't know. But she always says that she prays for us every single night. To drive safe. Yeah. 
my mom, my mom, uh, oh, you were uh, saying at the end of her bed yeah. every night. That's so cute. Isn't it so cute? But it's kind of like a form of like prayer. Yeah. <laughs> kind of to yourself, like. Yeah. I do, I, I lie in bed sometimes, you know. Yeah. And then as I'm saying, the Our Father, I dip off to bed. <laughs> I don't know what I think when I go to sleep. You want to hear my little brother's little... My mom gives out to me every time I say this, actually. He is your little brother. To me, he is my little brother. The man... It's is, like, he is. He's three years younger than yeah. me. He is my little brother. But he's not little. But the fella is six foot four yeah. or something. He's <laughs> he's really tall. And when I did the Hello Fresh thing, with my mom was listening to it. And she was like, why are you calling him your little brother? And I was like, well, I'm not going to call him my, my older... What do I call him? Just brother, maybe. But you want to hear Jack... Trying to recite prayers, it is. Why is he trying to recite them? <laughs> I must ask him to do it one day and see if I Does can he forget. Like, we just, I don't know why it even comes up in conversation sometimes, but we just like Jack say the our father, and uh, what's he, um, what does he be saying? <laughs> oh, do you know, just stuffing it, and he'd be like, uh, what's the person is like. Die womb Jesus or, or die womb Jesus. Or die womb, yeah, yeah, Jack yeah. Jack start putting in his, his own his word. Own words. Oh, he hasn't, a cl- and you go off track and start adding in nine different <laughs> prayers. Or do you remember mass um, and you shake hands? I don't think they do anymore because of COVID. And you say, um, Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Jack yeah. used to say, Please to meet you. Please to meet you. <laughs> 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 you think that's what you meant? Yeah. Please to meet you. Please to meet you. God love him. Some of the prayers I don't know, but I know the way, like, the tune goes, so I just kind of say my own words. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? You just be mumbling it like, like, yeah, like the die room and all. I don't, I don't think do I you know it. the air father. Do it. Fa- I know, this, I know to sing There's it. A song of it. Did you not know used to sing it? No, I just say father it. Who art in heaven? <gasps> Hello, be thine. It's like a weird pop song. Oh, I don't be the name. Uh, thy like kingdom come, come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Oh, I didn't know there was a song. As we forgive offenders. What? Amen. As we forgive the young offenders. Offend- no, offenders. As we forgive the young offenders. No, we forgive like from court. As we forgive offenders. That's not it. Is it not? No. Oh, fuck this. I'm not holding anymore. I'm a lucky, lucky girl. I'm a lucky girl instead. <laughs> oh, God. Um, other than like this kind of stuff, do you believe in manifestation? Yes. Do you practice it? Not as much as I probably should, but... I don't think it needs to be practiced all the time, though. Like. Yeah. No. I'm not a very, um vi- like, visual kind of person. Like, I don't write things down and stuff. I know you do. Yeah. I don't write things down. I yeah. don't... Like, I imagine things in my head. I tell myself things all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, all the time. Like what? Good things, like... Yeah, like I yeah. always... I And since I'm younger, I've always said I want to make a million euro before I have babies. Yeah. And I tell myself that every day. That's like, good. You're, That's you're, what you're gonna, yeah, yeah. You're going to make a million yeah. euro before you have babies. Does that mean you make as in, like... You've made... Oh, yeah. I've made a million euro. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff um, like that. Or, like, you know when you see 11-11? Yeah. And you make it a little wish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say the same thing every single time. Uh, no, we'll change it up. Do you? Yeah. Because then I can get them all to come true. Yeah. <laughs> it's being greedy. I think that's a part of it though. It's like, and it's just knowing things. Like I done a yoga a few weeks ago, and at the end you lie into meditation. She's like, picture the woman that you want to be. And for the first time, I could like actually see it. No way. And I got like a pretty, like a little like Feel. feeling in my body. I was like, oh my god, that's mad. Like so, like the more you believe that you're gonna be, that the more you just are. Like yeah. Just what it's if you so just, like? Do you it's think, so hard, but so easy at the same time. Yeah. Do you think if you if you're constantly someone who doubts yourself and constantly someone who who complains about things and is always giving out and all, do you think you're attracting that into your life? Um, like if you're, uh, fo- yeah, if you're always focused on the. Negative. I always think of because I always think of it like this that like do you ever drop something or like have a shit to start in the morning you have a shit mm-hmm. sleep. Then everything in your day just goes wrong Follows and wrong and wrong. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm having such a bad day. Oh, why me? Like, when you get into that mindset, which everyone gets, like, yeah. it's not, and you're allowed to have bad days. You don't, you're not always meant to turn it into a positive, but the more you just keep them at negative thoughts, the more they keep it happening. Yeah, true. But it's obviously different when something like is serious, like a death or like no, yeah. big problems like that. But little things that you moan about and stuff, catch yourself. Like, they say that making your bed at the start of the day is a great start. Really good. Like, just set. Yeah. Set yeah. whatever comes after, or like, that, like even just getting it takes a few months to get into it. But like, if something bad happens, think of one positive from it. Like, when I hit my nose last mm-hmm. week, the first I wasn't like, Oh my god, my nose. I was like, 
God, thank God I'm, I woke up and thank God I didn't hit my head. Yeah, true. Okay. Get into that routine of saying, of flipping it. Jesus, that could have been so much worse. Yeah. Or like, if you're like, I've seen something as well, you're sitting in traffic or you're getting annoyed at something and like, think of five places you'd rather not be than where you are now. Yeah. Or like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just flipping everything into something a bit more positive. The traffic one I really get. Yeah. I used to know someone who would blame like me for the traffic. And we were talking be, about that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And would yeah. give out about it to the point of like, I'd be sitting in the car and like, wouldn't, I'd be afraid to say anything, like wouldn't say a peep, like be so angry about traffic. Something you can't change. And that's what I'd yeah. always say. I'd yeah. be like, you physically can't change yeah. this. There is nothing, no amount of giving out that you can do, no, no. amount of anything that you do no. it's gonna can change stuff. anything. So like, I'm sure there's stuff like that in your life if something does happen. You physically yeah, it couldn't have gone another way. It yeah. couldn't have. Do you know what I mean? So giving out about stuff like that, I always yeah. think like, and like, yeah, you're in why? traffic, but you could have been in a crash. Yeah. You know I mean, you could have been in a crash that caused that traffic. Yeah. You're always better off. So like, just relax. Like, yeah, to just, try yeah. and look at yeah, uh, pos- not positive, but like other ways. Yeah, of like that, you're not really that bad off in yeah. any situation. Like, yeah, true. And I think I hate when people think, oh, well, it's easy for someone to say he was in a good mindset and stuff but like mm. we're not always we've had yeah. bad times and you're still able to think of good things it's just habit yeah literally what it is yeah yeah putting it into practice we actually asked on Instagram what oh, you yes. think of lucky girl syndrome I'm gonna get them for now we had a few DMs actually that kind of detailed them some more so someone said I don't think that it's that people are luckier than others I think it's more that people consider each other lucky focus more on the positive things that go well and therefore they will feel like they're more lucky because they don't put them, their attention on negative scenarios. If you practice gratitude and think more positively, more positive comes your way. Nothing is luck of the draw. You have to attract that energy. Oh. I love that. I like that. Yeah. So true. People, I think people look at people sometimes like, oh, she just got handed things. Yeah. Like, it's not like that. Like, No, yeah. There's a lot that goes in behind people. You attract, every, do you think you attract everything into your life? Yeah. Yeah. I think you do. Mm. I seen a podcast actually with do you know Stephen's podcast? Yeah. Fly over CEO. Done it with Davina McCall and she was no. like, I have no shame on in emailing product companies being I like, Would you consider me for this? Like asking, can't you do things? Like What's wrong with that? Yeah. yeah. You have to put sometimes you have to put yourself in the position, but that is also her being lucky in a okay. way. But she's also doing the work. Yeah, but she she put she's, herself there. She's put herself there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, someone said I believe in this I tell people how lucky I am all the time like I never was when I was younger but I started saying how lucky and grateful I am and I swear I became so lucky the first notable thing was a brand trip to Ibiza that I was the only person on and I only had like 10k followers at the time then I was in my job less than a year and everyone was like yeah it pays shit no one gets pay rises and after 8 months boom huge pay rise and now I'm saving for a house with my boyfriend I just feel like I'm going to be in my best luck and I just can get one handed to me or a large sum of money to buy so she'll keep you updated for when not if it happens well I like that I'll keep you updated when yeah yeah thinking like like you're basically telling yourself this what this, this will, happen. will happen it's not an yeah. if but yeah. when it's but also it's it like will. don't put pressure on things that like if something doesn't happen like that's all, that's not meant for you okay as well because okay. if you just expect things and then you're like really disappointed if something doesn't happen, that obviously was not meant for you. That door wasn't meant to be open for you. Do you know? Mm. Someone on Instagram said, works 100%, pick up on the small things and bigger will start happening. Oh, so love that. So count yourself lucky for the small things. Yeah, like, yeah. like you say, I woke up today. Yeah. yeah. Or like even if you have a nice, I feel, if I'm sitting down to have my nice breakfast, I feel so happy. Yeah. Or like my little cup of green tea. I'm like... To appreciate stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, and then like you just have a brilliant day. A brilliant day. And even being kind to people like in shops or like, do you know if you go to like... Just always be nice if you can. Just nice. Yeah. And you get it back. And like, it's you don't do things to get it back, but it just feels nice to be... Yeah, you don't give to get, but I think... Yeah, you don't give to get, yeah. but, all, but always being nice where you can be. Yeah. It costs nothing. Yeah. You can make someone's day doing that. Like, 100%. 100%. I actually bought caviar in self, which is, oh, I really yeah. wanted to try it. It was vile. I seen on TikTok, disgusting. Wow. Um, I wanted like I really did, but I bought it and the guy at the caviar desk was so nice. Aww. And he was so helpful. And like, obviously I didn't want to, like he could have been trying to sell me the top caviar, which is like thousands. Yeah. He was like, oh, like I mean, I only start and like, I just wanted a small pot and I like sell me the cheapest one, obviously 65 pounds. <laughs> like so nice, telling me how to eat it, like packing it up for me in a little bag. Like, Aww. but just things like that is so nice. Yeah. And then it inspires you to want to be nice. Yeah. You pass it on. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. 
someone said bullshit you have to work to get things okay that I think that's important to note though it's a good point yeah that you can't just sit there and t- keep telling yeah. yourself I'm sure you're gonna, gonna work you're gonna me. attract nice things because then like niceness because that doesn't involve any work okay it's like people being nice to you but like things sometimes you have to uh, work for yeah I remember my first do you know my first event I emailed them did you yeah no I was like obviously baldy like uh I was 19 or 20. I was like, I heard you have an event. Can I come? Yeah. Stop I only it. remember it here today. I did. Yeah. But that was my first event and I got invited to loads. What? Didn't do that ever again. Well then, see? Yeah. Well. But that I put myself there. If you're not already in a position you think you want to be. Put yourself, put yourself in a position. If you can, yeah. Put yourself in that room. Like, yeah. And I went and. I saw it. Great job. Yeah, well, look at us. Yeah, someone else had a lot of BS. If, and someone said, if I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, I think it's, for some people, do you ever see people when you're like, they actually had really bad luck? Yeah. In life, and it's things that you can't change. Do you some think people have a lot of deaths or a lot I of know, sickness, yeah. and you're like, okay, it makes you question then some things like this. But you think understand. like bad luck is given to people who are able, not able for it, but you, you know what I mean? You know the way you say that that's something that people say like strong, like someone who's strong, really strong. yeah, somebody who's who's strong enough to go through it, whereas somebody else no. might not be. Yeah. I'd hope so because I hope they are strong enough. But it's still not fucking fair. Yeah, no, it's not. No, someone else said wouldn't agree. It's more of a positive mindset, so every outcome you see in a good light. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a simple way for people to start manifestation because the whole idea of manifestation is very overwhelming. Would you say like there's a lot to it? Yeah. So like something small like th- thinking you're lucky, if that's how you start, then that's Yeah. Just tell perfect. yourself you're lucky to wake up, you're lucky to to be in a warm yeah. house and yeah. all that. And then if something little bad happens, just think of a positive someone said even, I, if, even if you to te- say, right, okay, if it doesn't come naturally to you at all, something bad happens, just be like, Okay, obviously within reason of how bad yeah. it is, but like think of one positive that came from that. Yeah. Or like something worse that could have happened and didn't. Just go yeah. From there. yeah. Someone else said, "I feel, I feel like luck also needs hard work." Yeah, I'm not going to become a millionaire by calling myself that. <laughs> I'm. Saying, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah, that's you. But <laughs> called out. Yeah, that. but I do. I do get you that. You do like, the work, though. Yeah, well. like, yeah. I'm not. I'm not just going to sit back and tell myself I'm going to be a millionaire one day. No, of course. Without knowing, I'm going to have to work to be a millionaire. But hopefully, I'm. I'm hopefully calling the work my way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be able to do as much work as I can to yeah. be able to hopefully But you're also God. doing the work yeah. to get the work. Yeah. yeah. To one day, please God, be able to Definitely. do that. No, so I do get it, yeah. Someone said it works. I've had so many doors open for me. Could be placebo, but I'll take it. Yeah, that, there's nothing to lose from doing it. Yeah. Only to gain. Nothing bad can... No, it's can just... Happen. And it's only going to do good things. Like. What you put out in the universe comes back to you. I've heard that. Yeah. That's a good one. I agree. I like it. I like it too. Like you said, I don't think there's anything bad. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Try it. Like, Yeah, I don't think people need to take stuff like this too seriously. People or get like, very heated oh, about how not true it is. Yeah. Very, mm-hmm. very... They, they're not into it at all. Like, they mm-hmm. think it's all a load of absolute... It's nice to horse believe horse in something in life. Like, I know. Yeah. Let people be a bit, like... Believe in something, but if it, if it has no negative effect on your life, let people do what they want to do. I know, let them literally let them seriously. We're gonna move into oh, sorry, I'm touching yeah, you. Fine. you can touch me all you want, <laughs> bird. Uh, we're gonna do our secrets and stalls, which is our advice segment. Um, we always want to help you with your dilemmas, and you can send them in to how I drink at goloudnow.com, mm-hmm. which is our email. First one is Hi, Charlene and Ellie. I love the pods. I've been listening since the beginning. You guys are doing an amazing job. Love you, Sloth. Love Thank you. you. I have been my boyfriend for nearly 10 years, but wait, during wait. the middle of... Our, huh? I said, where wait, wait. Oh, wait, oh, yeah. 10 years. But during the middle of our relationship, around fifth or sixth year of school, we had a few breaks. When we weren't on a break, a very good looking guy in my year was showing me a lot of attention and even tried to kiss me a few times. But as I was in a relationship, I never went through with it. He would tell me things like he really wants to kiss me or have sex with me. And I won't lie, when it was days like that between my, me and my boyfriend weren't getting along I liked hearing it and I did want to kiss him back after some time my partner and I went on a break and I ended up getting with this guy it was absolutely amazing and like something out of a movie and I found myself extremely attracted to him when I got back with my boyfriend I felt so guilty for doing it I ended up telling him what happened with me and the other guy my boyfriend was heartbroken fast forward to five years later I still am happy with my boyfriend and I haven't spoken to the other guy in years or even seen him oh 
But I sometimes find myself thinking of him and thinking back to that moment and feeling no regrets for it or even doing it just one more time. How should I just forget about him so I can focus on my boyfriend or is it normal to feel this way? Oh, wow. It's like that uh, show. What's it called? There's some show on Netflix is like that. She keeps flashing back to like this romance she had with this man. Oh. Um, is this like a what if situation? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. You're thinking of, you're romanticizing what could have been when you should be focusing on what, what you have. have. Yeah. Yeah. And because it was such a short stint, it's like. That makes it more exciting nearly. That yeah. It's just because, a little. Yeah. A and little because, bling. Yeah, exactly. And it was obviously only a couple of months and like, that's when you see the best of someone. Oh yeah. Like that's, no the one shows you their flaws. No, start. you don't. So, like, also if you're with your fellow a few years and then had sex with someone else, obviously it's going to be new. Mm. And so that's why she probably can't not think of it. But how do you stop focusing on it? I think just, I think it's normal too. I don't know, is it? I don't know. Like I know we I know she's not saying she loves this man or whatever, but like that she yeah. is thinking about him. And I know we've said before previously, if you love what do we say? About the love thing. If you love the second, you never really love, love the first. first yeah. Something. Is this kind of a if she's thinking about that fella, does she really not like her fella now? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Or it's five, is it just it's five years later. To still be thinking about it, I think that's not to say I don't want to say it's abnormal, but I think like I could think of of past people in my life only if I told myself to think of them they wouldn't just randomly come no. into my head. Like. No, no, no. No. And also you kind of forget what it's like to be with someone in a way after like five years. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd find it hard to even imagine like what a sex was like or something like mm. after that many years. So I don't know. Thinking back to the moment and feeling no regrets for it like I don't think you should have regrets. I think that's fine because you were broken up. So why yeah. would you regret it? But doing it one more time, maybe no. maybe your sex life now isn't satisfying you. Mm. Maybe you need to spice it up in maybe. the boudoir. But it's also like hindsight is a great thing and like you always romanticise things looking back sometimes. You always you want to look you back and have. you're like, oh, that was great. And then if you go back again, you're like, oh, that was shy. That was average. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> it's like the further you get away, you only, your brain clouds and forgets the bad. Sometimes. I think you just need to focus on what's actually in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how to focus? <sighs> Maybe is it is it you, like, I don't know, I'm going deep here, but like, is it you creating a problem because you don't want to think about the actual problem of that you don't, you're not happy in your relationship? Do she says I'm still happy. happily with my boyfriend. Yeah, but maybe you're not that happy though. She hasn't spoken to him or seen the other fella. Yeah, that's mad that he's so out of sight, but he's still on her mind. Yeah, because don't they say out of sight, out of mind? Exactly. But it's, it might be making her think about more because she hasn't seen him. Or... Mm. Yeah, it's hard. I don't know. I... I think just trying to focus on what's actually in front of you. Like what you're... Do what Charlene does, pros and cons. Write yeah. down the pros of your boyfriend. Yeah. Realise what's in front of you. You can't man, man, well, no, not manifest. You can't romanticise something that never happened. You're just thinking of the good part of it Course. that could have been, been there, done that, but like bought the t- t-shirts. Honest to fucking <laughs> god. But like you can't always romanticise something when it never happened because that might not have been the way it was going to go. Yeah, do you know? So you might be yeah. thinking back, being like, "Oh God, I could have one more night with him. Like, I'd be amazed with him and all." But he might have turned out to be an absolute wanker. Wanker, yeah. <laughs> Do you know exactly. what I mean? But I, don't, I think you're right having no regrets. Right? I don't think that's a bad thing. Like, even... Like, you not feeling guilty for that doesn't make you a bad person because you were broken up. Yeah. That's not a problem. No. And I think just have a look at your relationship, though. Because maybe it's that you're... Making not, problems out of something. You're, yeah, you're not 100% happy and you're yeah. just... That's why your your mind's lingering in the past. Yeah. Maybe. But... Let us know. Let us know how you are. The next one is, Hi girls, love the podcast. I have a bit of a situationship, if I'd even call it that, the last seven months. He's been coming to my apartment, staying over, helping me out, buying me bits for the house. Not that material things matter. And we actually have a holiday booked. Ooh. We've never once talked about being exclusive or boundaries or what could come out with the situation. It's coming to a stage where it's getting confusing. Do I say something or wait it out or is he assuming we're a thing? Because I genuinely haven't a clue and I feel like I'm not... I feel like I'm waiting on an answer I might not get, lol. 
I've played it off so cool and collect. Oh, cool and collected that it'd probably be weird if I asked. I'd say he doesn't even think I think this way. Thanks, girls. Think if someone didn't ask me to be my girlfriend after seven months, I'd say to them. I don't think I'd wait that long, actually. Seven months. That's very long. Very long. But also, they never even talked about being exclusive, so... You have a holiday booked with this man. You'd want to hope he fucking thinks it's exclusive. Yeah. I'm over this time in my life of, like, beating around bushes, not knowing, him and Han, mm-hmm. waiting on him to text you. Like, I'm too old for this shite. Yeah. I think if I was in her position, like, because he might be doing the exact same, he might be doing the exact same thing. And you know what? I first hand saw this over the weekend. One of the girls was waiting on somebody to text her. Yeah. And I was saying, you, I told her, I said, you text him. She was like, no, I'm not. I'm putting my foot down. I'm being stubborn. I'm not texting him. And I was like, text him, get over it. But he was thinking the exact same as her. Oh. He was waiting on her, her to text. text. And then no one gets anywhere. And then, do you know what I mean? He texted first and then. He did. He did. But he said to her, I was waiting on you on to you text, text me. Like, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't think that's a thing of... Life's too short. Yeah, it really is. I think you just need to say to him, it nearly gets to, it's nearly like too late to ask. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I get that too. How do you run me? Yeah. To get him a boyfriend Valentine card and see what he, how he reacts. Oh yeah, good idea. Oh, it's good. Oh, we can do a Valentine's episode. Oh, we are in here yeah. on Valentine's yeah. Day actually. Oh, You'll be my perfect. Valentine bird. Perfect. Um, I think, because it could be very convenient for him. Like he could just be like, oh grand, she's not asking anything. I get <laughs> Lovely. the, I get the, bell- I, yeah, I get the benefits of a, of a relationship. Like I think you need to find out if that's what he wants. Because if that's what you want, if, if not, if you just want to be Situationship, that's fine, but mm. I think she wants more. I think say it before it gets even more later deeper in because yeah. seven months is a lot, a long time, long, long time. I think you can just say it in because you say it in kind of like a casual way. By the way, Daniel still has not asked me to be his girlfriend. I know I'm, I'm waiting for it to be last weekend, but it's no, I'm gonna kill him. I think it might be Valentine's Day, <sighs> anyway. Cliche, is it? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, and it's very late into the game, seven months. Mm. But I always wonder, like, how do you go that much time and not mention it, like... And not bring it up. At all. Mm. I wonder, was nothing, was really nothing said? Are they just hanging out, like, as... Maybe you think's your friends. Sorry, I drunkenly said it to Mystery Man on New Year's Eve. Oh, yeah, what did you say? I was like, hey, didn't even ask me, Miss Carpenter. <laughs> no, what are you doing? Like, the fella's like, leave me alone, bird. <laughs> <laughs> get off me honestly <laughs> but I think seven months is very long like what what, what well, maybe the she could, maybe they could have a few drinks and then she could say we love a bit of Dutch bit courage, of Dutch courage <laughs> yeah <laughs> we don't like beating around the bush but we need a bit of Dutch courage sometimes just like I know it's, it's see it's the it's, thought of saying it that's so so much worse yeah just like what are we yeah. What's wrong with saying that? Yeah. What are we? Yeah. What What would you call and us? And say it in person because I know it's harder, but like you can't, he can't like panic and yeah, build yeah. an answer in a text. Just like, what What would you call us? Oh. We're hardly fucking budgies. <laughs> are we like? You could be like, uh, my ma- my friend was asking about you. I didn't know what to, We're just what telling everyone to be liars. I always, <laughs> I know, I know. But it's cool. It's not, only the white lie. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think one of the girls was asking what, what we were, I didn't even know what to say or something. And then see what he says. Mm. If you don't want to say, plain, like, straight out, what are we? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Or bring one of your friends around when he's there and make her be like, so he's together or something. <laughs> Set up a whole <laughs> acting scene. I'd do that for you. <laughs> I would too, yeah. Yeah. It's good. Like, who's a harm in no one? Yeah. No one's getting harmed in that process. No, but I just think you need, you need to know for your own sake. Yeah. Regardless of, like, or, like, Regardless of what answer he gives you, mm-hmm. be prepared that it might not be the answer that you want as well. Of course. Just in case. Of course. But you need to know. You do. Seven months too long. Yeah. Last one is, hey girls, I love your podcast and need your help. I met this boy six years ago in college. We always got on so well and always had a connection. However, at the time I was in a toxic relationship and never ended things. But I knew I always wanted to be with him and both told her this. Once I did end things in my relationship, he was then in a relationship. All was fine until one night we opened up while he was in his new relationship and he said he wanted to be with me and not her. He eventually broke up with her and we started things. However, everything he said while we were in a, 
Everything said while we're in relationships was ignored and he only focused on sex. I was so upset and confused about this. Then I finally had the balls to tell him how hurt I was and he's so sorry. I wanted to meet up for a night away. We met then a couple of weeks ago in Dublin for the first time and had a lovely time together but since he hasn't contacted me and I'm devastated. I don't know if I should hold out for him or not. I also don't know if I'm a text if I should text again or am I being a fool? Please help. Don't hold out for him. No. If someone can ghost you, I think they are the lowest of the low. For a man in this day and age. After so long. Yeah. For a man in this day and age to not have the balls to text and be like, listen, this I I'm not feeling this. There's nothing wrong with saying that. Like no. you hurt someone more by ghosting them. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Rather than telling them the truth. Like yeah. I'd much rather get a message being like, Listen, I don't really see this going anywhere. It's not the right time for me. Or yeah. I hate your guts, don't like you, blah blah. Yeah. Rather than just a ghost or nothing. It's you're closure. left with more yeah, you're left with more more questions than answers. Yeah. And insecurities, like you haven't, yeah, yeah, because you don't know what you've done, and then you can't. You, I've had you my friends yourself. like that, and they're like, "Oh, what if it was this? What was this?" Yeah. Like your head goes, "It's fried." Yeah, it's not. It's so unfair. Don't hold out from. Um, I wouldn't. Seems like a fucking dick. Dick. I'm about to tell him once. Small up, dick energy. <laughs> Small dick energy. Like it's an. It's so hard because you probably were sized him. Especially when you're in a toxic relationship and you have this man outside of it maybe giving you the attention. Mm. For her, I'd say she was like, oh, this he seems so nice. He's what I need, not this toxic man. Yeah. And then you break up him for him. Well, not for him, but break up and then he's in a relationship and then he's not what you expected him to be. Yeah, he's not what you wanted. He's but, not what he said. But when he couldn't get words. you, he was what you wanted. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? A lot of men are like that one. Yeah. Like, it's like the cat. The, what's it Chase called? Chase is better than the cat. Than the cat. Yeah. Like, it's nothing on you though. No, at all. it's just him. Maybe he's because he's on a relationship. He kind of wants to run wild and doesn't want that mm. serious. I can imagine him probably coming crawling back to. You, yeah, because they always do. Oh, they always do. They always do. <laughs> um, but that's something you have to get to when it comes to that. And I wouldn't. Mm. I don't recommend not going back there. Yeah. Um, he probably just wants to have a single time and stuff. But definitely don't text him again. I if I was you, I'd block him if you can. Yeah. Don't let him text you again. Don't no, give him that yeah, access don't, to you. Yeah, don't give him, you know, that access. No. Fuck him. He does not deserve you. Dickhead. So you can send your dilemmas into homodrink at goloudnow.com. We answered more dilemmas in our bonus episode, Homo Drink Extra Juice. Listen back to those after this episode and listen out for a new one coming to you this Monday and every Monday. Next, we're going to do Sip or Skip, where we take a topic based on the week's episode. If we sip, it means we agree. If we skip, it means we disagree. This week's topic or sorry, yeah, topic, is lucky girl syndrome. Mm. Sip, if we would practice. Skip, if we wouldn't. Can you hear me sip? <laughs> <sighs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a bit of both. Oh. I can't see myself, like, like going to the extent of some of the girls I've seen on TikTok. Like. Yeah. But I would. Yeah, you don't have to start talking to yourself in the mirror. No, although, yeah. Although sometimes I do. Ah, uh, go away. I have before, yeah. I'd be or said things out loud. Would you? Well, I think it works just as well in your head, don't you have to? Don't have to yeah, do that. no, I'm fine with it. I'll just be yeah. in my own <laughs> crazy mind. See me, la, la, la. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, more, more. I'm gonna say seven, eighty percent sip, twenty percent skip. Because okay. I, I wouldn't be writing things down all. I ju- and that's just me knowing yeah. that I wouldn't be doing. That. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's sipping away there, birds. <sighs> the whole drink's gone. Sip, sip. Well, thanks so much for listening. We love you so uh, much. You can go back to listen to our bonus episode from Monday, How Many Drinks Extra Juice. And thanks again to Primark for sponsoring this episode. We hope you enjoyed. We hope you do. And we'll see you on Monday. We love you loads. Love you. Bye. Bye. Subscribe to this podcast for free on the Go Loud app.